Welcome back to Diabetes Every Day. I'm glad you are here. Please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and sign up for my newsletter on DiabetesEveryDay.com. Okay, if you've seen any of my social media posts, you'll know that I love dogs. And you've probably seen our rescue English Springer Spaniel named Addie in some of my videos. We recently participated in the English Springer Rescue America Parade of Rescues. It was perfect timing because I just had received this question from one of our viewers. Can dogs get diabetes? Yes, both dogs and cats can be diagnosed with diabetes. And I have a video interview with foster mom Trudy of an English Springer Spaniel named Finley who is being treated for diabetes. Let's listen to that interview. All right, I've had a couple questions on this. And we're at actually a dog show with our English Springer Spaniels. And do you want to say your name and your dog's name? I'm Trudy and this is Finley. Great. The very cool, I'm saying cool thing about it is that in the show they were, they were announcing that Finley has diabetes. Correct. And that is just very interesting to me as a diabetes educator of humans. And so we, I'd love to hear some of the stories of how Finley takes care of, or you take care, how Finley take care of his diabetes. Well, I, it's, it's all in doing, we do a glucose curve on them, probably about once a month. And then we compare the numbers to find out whether he, we need to go up on this insulin or down on the insulin. And then, uh, you regulate it. If it go up and, and he still doesn't do well, then we go back down a little bit. So he was 18 units when I got him, and now he's at 10 and a half, and he's doing wonderful. Wow. I feed him a special food, uh -huh. and I give him some boiled chicken with chopped up vegetables in it, fresh vegetables. Um, that's how I keep him that way. Otherwise, when you, you, get, you veer off and get him the food and stuff that they're not supposed to have, contains a lot of sugar. They're not allowed to have sugar. Uh -huh. And... Um, I take his glucose check probably about every second day to check to make sure what his numbers are. With an actual glucometer that humans yeah, use? Yeah, humans use. Yeah. And where do you... I poke him right here on the lip. Wow. And I make it bleed and then I stick it in the, in the th uh, meter, the, the stick, and then I just test it. Wow. Is that 10 units a day? 10 units, 10 units, a... 10 and a half units twice a day, morning twice and night. Twice a day, okay. Wow. And you had mentioned earlier that it's called a sensor for reading the blood sugar reading. Yeah, I think, uh, that safety device uh, thing that people put on their arms, the little white one. Yeah, so it, and we tried that on him. There are some dogs that successfully use it, but it didn't work on him. Yeah, the, they shaved the, the hair and yeah, you know, and tried to put a sensor on, but unfortunately, it, did, yeah. it would be great. Yeah, you know, to even use skin glue. So she has one. Huh? I know. I showed <laughs> yeah. her mine. And we that well, we advised the company that they need to make one for dogs. Yeah, yeah or in cats, it would be yeah, just cats. so much easier. Yeah. So you I think that's long acting insulin and lantus or liver? Do you know what the name of the insulin is that that I use? Yeah, that's Sulin. That's Sulin. Oh, oh so yeah. it's specifically for. For the well, I, I'm assuming the dogs because I get it from the vet. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. buy it there rather than the drugstore. Yeah. So it sounds like management is very similar to humans. You know. Yeah. What you he's eat. Taking yeah. insulin. Right. And what about the exercise regimen? Is there anything? Well, specific? we go to the park every day, mm -hmm. and we go for it. It's uh, probably about two miles. Just walk slow, and um, he gets that every day. Plus, he goes out in the yard and tries to eat my cat. And, <laughs> normal dog that, stuff, huh? That gives him, yeah, normal. He, that gives him a little run, so he, he gets his exercise. It's great. Yeah. And uh, when you check the blood sugar in the lip, you don't know, to think about that. Does it? Does he ever? Rise? No, he doesn't even. No, because the needle is what so minute that you mm -hmm. can't you can't see it, and it's on the actual little shooter uh -huh. gun that they use on people. Yeah. It's how just, old now? This dog. How? Yeah. How old? 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Of course, he's blind too and he's deaf. But yeah. yeah. So I treat his eyes and he it's, looks all, good, it's all yeah. part of the, the diabetes thing. Yeah. But, yeah. And yeah. do you know when he was diagnosed, when he actually got the diagnosis? No, I don't. Uh -huh. Yeah, because he's a rescue dog. Yes, so, yeah. yes. He's rescue and he's in permanent foster care. So yeah. everybody, he's being taken care yeah. of very, very well, he's nicely. He's doing real well. He wasn't yeah. doing good when I first got him. Yes. Uh, matter of fact, I was at the emergency clinic an hour and a half from my house twice. Wow. But it's just a matter of just 
sticking with it. You know, people feed their dogs things that they shouldn't have because it makes the people feel better. Yeah. But he gets the special food, which is a, a, a veterinarian blend food, and he gets his chicken and his vegetable twice a day, and that's it. Nothing. Great. Yeah. Nothing else. Great. Piece of chicken for a treat when he's a good boy. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. That's Fantastic. great. Fantastic. So it's, it is basically mostly people, but, you know, dogs can't cheat if they don't get it from me, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. We should exactly. learn. I often am putting my dog in my videos about the things that they could teach us. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and, and it's all. Because he crashes always. like people. Yeah. You know, he, so he has had a low blood sugar. Oh, yeah. And he, he wags back. He weaves back and forth. Oh. And then we had to carry him to the car and I took him to the vet. Wow. And um, of course, they have to, you know, get him started back up again and give so him they give all him of the some treatment, glucose right, to get his blood sugar in a, up in an IV, right, to get his sugar wow. back up. And then we start over again and go to the next level and see what we can do to change it. But right now, he's been doing good now for probably about about four months. Haven't had a day problem at all. Good I'm boy. You, he looks great and um, just beautiful. And Yay for coming to this parade. We were all in this English Springer Spaniel parade today yeah. showing off our rescue dogs. Well, we thank you for coming too. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, it's always yeah. a pleasure to have everybody up here that rescues the dogs. Yes. It's just such a pleasurable event. It really I, is. I gotta tell you, I shed a few tears going around that little track. Yeah, uh, yeah, it, exactly. A couple notes to follow up on that interview. The type of insulin Finley receives is for dogs or cats, and it's called Vetsulin. It's an intermediate acting insulin similar to humans taking NPH, which is an older type of insulin. As we heard from Trudy, the management of Finley's diabetes is very similar to how we manage our diabetes, medication, diet, and exercise. I hope you noticed that diet and exercise cut Finley's insulin dosage by almost half. Hint, hint. It's also important to note that Finley's diabetes either wasn't identified or wasn't managed effectively for whatever reason before he came to Springer Rescue, and he has suffered some serious complications including vision loss. Finley now has Trudy doing a fantastic job managing his diabetes, but for you and me, the responsible person for diabetes management is you or me. We are our own Trudy. I want to send a special thank you to Trudy and Finley for sharing their story with us. Until next time, cheers to your health.